What is up MP3 players? It is I MP3 Charlie here and I've been requested to make a tutorial on how to do the bullet shells I mentioned in my muzzle flash tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you. So here we go, let's go straight on in. So shells, let's go. Right, there are a couple of ways we can do this and I'm gonna show you two of the ways. The first one is literally just dragging your stock footage in finding the first shot, so I believe it's there. First shot, line it up with the barrel, I'm going to switch it around so that it pings out the right way, so it flips out that way. Make sure when you're doing it in relation to the gun, if the gun's shooting out this way, it's going to rotate this way. So if I did it the other way, you'd see that when it rotates, it rotates this way, and that won't look particularly realistic. At the same time, uh, you know, you gotta make sure that this is on the right side. So you might have to do a couple of little tweaks and things. So literally all you have to do, make it smaller. That, that was really bad of me, I, I didn't hold shift, so I screwed up this king. Oh boy, right, there we go. Hold shift, budget where you need it, so I need it there. Still make it a little bit smaller. This is the wrong type of shell for the for the gun that I'm using, so apologies, but this is just a tutorial, so don't panic. So literally go to the first frame, as soon as he shoots, we need to do keyframe position, go forward like two frames, budget up over here, go forward a couple more frames, and budget out of shot. That's all you need to do really. Obviously it's gonna look pants like that. I might even budge that over a frame. Uh, but yeah, that, that's gonna look like pants like that, so you can do smooth there, and then that should sort of give it sort of a bit of momentum instead of just going like gliding. So it shoots out, bang, and then falls. Uh, so then all you gotta do, go to layer properties, just hit motion blur, take that on there, because it's moving so fast, you got the good blur, very nice. You might want to, if you want increased realism, you can track it to the point which was uh, this point, which is tracked onto the background, so that it moves with the camera, so where is it, only point three, yeah. And really, it doesn't do much for our case, but, you know, it's just nice to sort of, nice to do in some scenarios. Um, if you don't have the stock footage, never fear, you can literally just hop onto it, if I just do it, Right now, that's how easy it is. Just type in turbosquid.com 3D models for professionals and literally just search up shell or cart 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 cartridge or something. Yeah, cartridge, there you go. Uh, and so, you know, you just find one that you like. It doesn't have to be the highest quality one. Obviously, these are all expensive, so if you want if you're cheap like me, zero, zero, apply. And you got a list of free ones. You don't want a bullet because you're not using a bullet, you're using cartridge. So I'd say something like that would work. Even, well, maybe not that because it's got a bullet on it. That would be great. Just things like that, all these spent shells. Or if you really, 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 really want to get really realistic, go to a shooting range, borrow some of the spent shells, hang them from a string, and just spin them and record them on a black background, and then just get rid of the black background. And then you sort of chuck it in. That's it, you do that for every single shot, and then make sure it's... So this, for example, this one's far too dark for the shot, so I'm literally just going to get color correction, is it curves, literally just straight up, drop it on, budge up this here, just like that. You're done. That's all you need to do. So yeah, that's it's pretty simple, really. Um, so yeah. Nothing like the muzzle flare, the muzzle flare was a big, scary 23 minute video. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day. I will see you next time. Bye.